Whoa, oh my God, Mr. Matias. I didn't even know that. So much stuff has happened. Thank you so much for your news there. Thank you. And, uh, and now we're back in the, in the street that we're hanging out on today, the, the bridge street of the Greenland of Oslo. It's called the Brugata. It's a very famous street over here in Norway. A lot of people walk past it when they're going to a place called Karl Johan, which is an even fa more famous street. Actually, I would have preferred to be on Karl Johan to do this segment, but apparently that street has been claimed by a rather famous duo. Mr. Eric Solbakken and Hasse Hope have uh, their own show called Karl Johan in Karl Johan Street, and they've claimed it. We're not allowed to hang out over there. But what they did allow was for us to come and learn some of their expert tricks on how to do an outdoor studio TV show. Check it out! Over to Carl Johan. Over to Carl Johan. Hey. Hello, Mr. Oh, Hello. Hello. It's going, bro. Yeah, man. Hello, Hello. Hello. Mr. Hasse Hope. Oh, nice geez. to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is the motherfucking strip. What's happening? What's what are you gonna do with it? What we're about to do is to to interview people about our princess Marta Louise, and just do a straight interview. But then we planned it for a while, and we thought it was quite boring. So then we find out uh, found out that we have to make a song. So we have now like produced a song, we have or, written or, 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 yeah. or written, we have because uh, yeah. E-Type has done the, the hard work in okay. 1992. He did a lot of good work back yeah, in the 90s. He did. He had the, the massive hit Angels Crying. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to tr uh, translate that and also write our own uh, uh, lyrics to, to that song. And Is this an important part of your show, to write songs? No. No, we no never. It. It's, it's, first, it's an important part of Elvis. Yeah, are you inspired uh, by Elvis? Uh, wait, what's that? Are you inspired by Elvis? Uh, who's inspired by Elvis, man? <laughs> <laughs> but what's uh, what's up with Marta Luis? Uh, why Marta Luis and why Angel? No, she's, 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 she's struggling, struggling a bit. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how we take the word yeah. from each other's yeah. mouth. Oh, yeah. mouth. Uh, yeah, no, she has this thing called the Angel School. You hear, you hear about that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, which basically is school where you can learn to how to talk to angels uh, and nobody really believes it so okay. it's going really bad and it's uh, about to go bankrupt so we need to support her you know and you're, you're out here to prove her wrong basically no, uh, no we're going to give uh, her uh, our support oh of course of course uh, you're going to prove the others wrong that's yeah. why you're the angels that's why no normal people are the angels oh, then yeah. we just put it on them Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, okay. We have to see. Maybe it's something there. Maybe people don't want to have the angels costume on. Yeah. Cool, cool. Where are you gonna do it? Here. All right. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, god. It's gonna be so, so cool. Do you have any tips for us? Now we can improve our show. Let the people do the hard work. That's uh, that's the best tip we can give you. Okay. Like now we have some costumes from NRK. And of course, uh, we could, uh, I could be the devil and you can be the angel and we can sing, but uh, we think it's much more fun to, to put it on uh, regular people who's just walking on the street here. Cool. Yeah. That's a theory. Cool. Yeah. Do you get a lot of fan mail? Uh, twice. Twice a year. A year, yeah. yeah. Actually, this week I got from uh, Matthias. Yeah. That was not a fan mail, that was uh, more a request. But I, I said to all the other guys, it's a, it's a fan made. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. Of course. I've been a fan of Mateus and Yorgo since the walk across Lebanon. I cannot say that I'm out of my mind excited about their new show on Fatstone.tv. They're so cool and hot. Oh my god, I just can't control myself. Ah! That's okay, awesome. you follow us. <laughs> All right, <laughs> off the street. Okay. <laughs> Well, now I'm standing right here in front of some of my heroes. They're outside of the parliament now, and they're gonna try to get the people to support our slightly schizophrenic princess that believes she can talk to, talk to angels and has her own angel school. So these guys are now actually going to try to catch the incredibly shy Norwegians on the street and have them sing the most awkward song ever. 
I don't know how they're gonna do it, but these guys are so pro that, I don't know, I have so much to learn from them. If they can pull this one off, anything can happen. So, how, are, you, are you getting nervous now before you're gonna go start shooting? No, we're not nervous because uh, we know it's a lot of hard work because a lot of people don't wanna get interviewed. So, I'm a bit more, but, but yeah. But the people in Norway are like known for not wanting to talk to strangers and spell, especially not on camera. Yeah. Do you have any like strategies or experience how to pass that barrier? Uh, actually, that's wrong. Uh, the Norwegian uh, people, they, they really love to, to be uh, a part of uh, the entertainment uh, uh, society. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but they need the question. They don't want to like, uh, can I, can, can you film me? They, yeah. they are not like, uh, uh, Americans, but they are like, okay, I hope, I hope I'm getting interviewed now. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, more or less uh, 30, 40 percent of Norwegians. So now I'm going to try that man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm nervous. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hey. That was a nice guy. How did that go? I think uh, no, it, uh, it went uh, terribly wrong, but uh, as you can see, he, he really enjoyed it. He, he did something Dude, I didn't understand. Yeah, was that, but it, I'm not sure, he's uh, got his own humor, so his own body respect language. that. Yeah. 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 When you uh, interview people, do, does it help that you're famous now? Or? Um, I will say it helps 23%. 23%, yeah. okay. Approximately or? Appro no, I think it's 23, okay. sometimes 24. Okay. I wonder how it does that math. Um, if there are more blood pressures, why can't pro. I it's, pro. it's very important to, to stand in a natural way before the object is, is coming. But now he's walking on the other side, so we, we, can, we can try. There's a lot of convincing involved, isn't there it? There is, and no one's a better convincer than Eric. I mean, I would stop after one no, he yeah. stops after 50 no's. Okay. Yeah. So you think you would do it better? No, no, I would do it way worse. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> His strength is uh, persuasion. Well, so we clip with many people on the road. Mine is just looking weird. Yeah. I noticed there's a lot of convincing involved. Yeah, it's a lot of convincing. Uh, that's does it work? Eighty-four to convince? percent of the job. Eighty-four. Yeah, eighty-four. Okay, I have to cover that. Hi, hi, hi. It's not going so well, so uh, maybe I'll try to uh, help them out a little. Hello, mister. Excuse me, I got a couple of questions. Um, Are you from Norway? Yeah. Excuse me. Do you guys speak English? No. Eric Solbakken, very famous uh, TV host over there. Mm -hmm. Can I uh, have you a couple of questions? Uh, uh, he's trying to make people help him out with a sketch, but uh, no one wants to help him. <sighs> so I was wondering, maybe you can help him out. Mister, excuse me. Ah, oh, you're. This is what they do when they don't have time. They just do like this. The, the problem is, I have uh, 30 seconds for a meeting. It's a very hard job, actually. It's not so easy. Oh my god, they managed to find someone while we were talking to those guys. So it was success? It's a final, final success, yeah. How many of these do you have to do before, before you have an actual sketch? At least, uh, I would say, 10 who uh, dress up and sing with us. Okay. And then we maybe use five. Is this one of the? Is this the hard part of your job? No, the hard part is just uh, getting to stop. Oh yeah. And then it's uh, convincing them to join uh, the fun. Okay. And then it's just laughs. Cool, so cool. This is gonna be go this great with this guy. I can tell. He likes to have fun. <laughs> Fucking cool, cool. Akelet for Amarta. Akelet for Amarta. Akelet for Amarta. Nepebra. 
Ingen stöter hon blir ärta. En gång till. Ingen stöter hon blir ärta. Ingen stöter hon blir märta. Nej, ärta. Ja. <laughs> So while Eric is doing the hard work, mm. Hasse Hope is chilling behind, just making sure everything is uh, going right. How's yeah. it going now, would you say? Uh, for me, just fine. I'm just watching him do, doing some stuff, uh, drinking my coffee, having a good time, cool. checking the internet on my phone. But you think he's doing a good job now? He's, he's going to get some good shots for your show? Oh, he's doing a great job. He has a very good way with people. He's a people person. He's a people's person. Yeah. Wasn't he the, um, the host on uh, Eurovision? He was, famously. That's when you have to be a people's person. Everybody exactly, knows I that. could never do that. I hate people. So, um, what's your job? Yeah, what, what do you well, do? Well, it would seem my job is just waiting, but actually we do uh, every other uh, interview. So uh, in a few minutes, he's going to be the one standing here, smoking his cigarettes and uh, drinking his coffee. Cool, cool, cool. They're just like you and me, Orgo. They take each turns in uh, having the camera and having the mic, except yeah. that they have a cameraman. Yeah. Do you think, because we have our TV show and we don't have a cameraman, do you think that's problem? Should we have that? That you have an, an, uh, an own cameraman? Yeah, we don't have a cameraman. No, I think it's much more charming this way. Yeah? Yeah, much more down to earth. Don't go corporate, man. Hasse Hope gives yeah. us hope, man. Yeah. How fucking cool is that? <laughs> yeah. Cool, thank you. That, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Man. Awesome. Man. If you notice behind Mr. Eric Solbakken now, there's a crowd. People are stopping on the street to watch the show. Even though they don't have a studio, everything seems to be working out pretty smooth for these guys. So that's pretty cool. Wow, that was really, really good. So I noticed that the first guy you stopped comes from the north of Norway. Is this typical? Yeah, that's really <laughs> typical. Are they? Would you say they are braver than people from the rest of the country? Well, I'm a, the archetypic uh, North Norwegian. Yes. Yeah. You are. Yeah, yeah. Brave and <laughs> big, brave and tough. Well, well done. Like you. If you say so, I won't count contradict you. Okay? <laughs> we have we have seen you. You're the bravest guy so far on Carl Johan. Yeah. So. But there are more. They're coming from behind me here. Yeah, now we're gonna check out Hasse Hope. Yes. Yeah. What do you What are you saying? You're giving Hasse some ho tips? Uh, no. I, okay, I'm giving some tips. Helping him out. Yeah. But uh, I pack it in, you know. So it's, that he doesn't think it's yeah. Yeah. Like it's a natural conversation. But so. It's, it's, hmm. So there's a lot. You have a lot of time for yourself when you're shooting the show. It's like yeah. only fifty percent. No, not it's uh, nothing is fifty percent in life. No, 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 no. Okay. But it's uh, forty-eight, perhaps, or, yeah. or, or fifty-two. Yeah. But I've never, uh, no, I've never got that experience, like fifty percent experience. Have you? Or? I don't think so. I don't think so. No. 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 I think I always fall like under fifty. Yeah. It's very frustrating. We always say uh, fifty percent of the time I'm doing this and fifty percent. Mm, yeah. When, when you think yeah, of nothing is like that. Yeah. And if you also write it down, no, it's not fifty. There's no such thing as 50-50. <laughs> no. I'm learning so much yeah. today. I'm learning so much today. Also the persistence that you just have to to just like really c c like annoy people till they do what you want. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, but uh, I think people need a bit pressure because uh, if I ask you, can you can you sing a song? I would say no. Yeah. But if I say, okay, uh, you're going to sing a song and what you're going to do is to look into the camera. No, 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 no. Not say, do you have don't, don't say no. You have to You're so convincing. I really feel like I have to sing that song now. It's really but like him. He's walking too fast. You have some rules on the street. Uh, uh, here you got three older women. They they love to chit chat, but they don't stop. So if I say, say excuse me, can I ask you a question? They walk further on, but they can chit chat. Take a look. Oh shit! They stopped. Oh. oh yeah, but so, she, she's not really good at walking anyway. She has a cane. Yeah. You think it's gonna work out for him? How many percent yeah. chance do you think uh, he's gonna land this? On thing? twelve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, backing off. But she's the sporty one, so probably she wanna show her friends that she can do it. Yeah, it's a chance. I think. Uh, twelve percent still? No, I think it's eighteen now. Eighteen percent chance. But now, has a. Uh, it's about how to present the task, I guess. This yeah. a, a lot comes down to that, yeah. I would assume. You're very good at that. You yeah. he, she heard your name and she didn't... As soon as she heard his name. Prinsessen trenger fred og ro. Så, nå er det av en på. Og 
also if you would take the minus. You guys, you are pretty much like claim this corner, or claim this street, you know, yeah. Carl Johan, it's the name of your show. Yeah. So I guess for us to do like, uh, we have also outdoor studio, but we can't use Carl Johan. Do you think it's no. okay if we take Brugata? Yeah, that's okay. But uh, actually we're quite strict to uh, not use Carl Johan, all the other uh, like medias. We have, uh, all the time we have uh, guys from P4, you know, that uh, radio channel. They're trying to come here and... Yeah, they, because they have, uh, their office is like, 50 meters from Carleon. But they don't know that you claim this street? Yeah, they know now because we have thrown them away a lot of times. Cool, and, cool. And uh, in the start they thought we were just kidding, but uh, now they know that, okay. But they can be up there in Akersgata, man. Yeah, that's that's nice. There are all the bad people, Tefi, the people as well, so it's, yeah. it's good. What about if we take Brugata? That's cool? Brugata's okay. It's available? It's available, but... Uh, it's a lot of the same peoples, you know. They oh, are yeah. starting here and then they are going to Brugata. Ah. Brugata. So, well, okay. Be aware. We are allowed to take uh, Brugata from the Carl Johan guys, but we have to be aware. This is so exciting, but I sort of have to go now. But seriously, uh, thank you so much for all the tips and stuff like that. Yeah. We don't really have a cameraman and we'd like to do a final shot. Can you just hold our camera for a second? Yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. Yeah, man. Whoa, we learned so much about being TV hosts here on Carl Johan with Eric Solbakken and Hasse Hope. It's uh, been fucking awesome. It's probably, it's obvious that you can still be a superstar even if you have an outdoor studio. Yeah, and we have a lot to learn, so this show is going to get a lot better. Now? I have to learn to, to get the camera in focus, but now it's in focus. Okay, it's perfect. It's perfect. camera operator is on now as well? Yeah, awesome. Okay, so our street. Over to the studio. Perfect. Okay, so now I've learned some uh, some tricks from the experts, and apparently you just—it's very much just like going out there and just doing it, and just getting get people to do the work for you. So I'm just gonna gonna try, gonna. Hi guys, hi, how are you? How are you? Hi. You good? You good? You good? Yeah. So uh, I was just wondering, do you know a lot about Norwegian winter sports? No, I don't know. No. About that. What's your what's so do you, what's your favorite Norwegian winter sport in the summer? Uh, in summer, uh, bike, bike, bike. Yeah. yeah, but you know the Norwegians have a tendency to do their winter sports during the summer. They ski during the summer and I these things. Uh, I know about that. Yeah. So you think maybe snowboarding during summer could be something that could be tried out? Snowboard with wheels or uh, something? Skateboard maybe. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay. See you, man. Okay, see you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so embarrassing. They were just like talking and I didn't even have any questions prepared. It was just... <laughs> sorry, can I ask you a couple of questions? No, sorry. No, not so much to talk. Okay, we try someone else. We mustn't lose faith. That's what uh, Eric Solbakken said. It's not, it's just, it just takes time, like 35% or something. Hey, sorry, excuse me. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Yes, you can. Yes? Uh, have you ever uh, been on TV before? Yeah, actually I have. Really? Where? Yeah. I was in a show called, uh, in Danish, Huna Huni Melm. It's about dogs. I ran around on the field with a dog. In an animal show? Yes. All right, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now you're, now you're in an extreme sports show. Oh, wow. Do you do any extreme sports? No, I do not. I'm I'm not Norwegian. You're not. The, <laughs> where, where are you from? I'm Danish. You're Danish. Mm -hmm. So what do you know about this street here? Uh, it's called Brugata. There's yeah. a lot of different shops and a lot of good vegetables and um, that's about it. It's like a downtown sort of place. I believe so. Okay, but now that you're on TV, do you have something you want to say? Uh, it kind it kind of depends. <laughs> where is this going? Uh, on TV. Okay, um, then I'm gonna tell my girlfriend, hello, I love you.